nation which can produce men like Balbadra Singh Nagi, must have a battalion of their own. The words of India's Jangi Lat Lord Roberts are attributed to Lat Sabedar Balbadra Singh Nagi who won difficult Afghan war for British. The Garhwal Rifles is one of the most decorated infantry regiments of the Indian Army. It was originally raised in 1887 as the 39th Garhwal Regiment of the Bengal Army. It then became part of the British Indian Army, and after the independence of India, it was incorporated into the Indian Army. Up to 1887, Garhwalas had been enlisted in the five regiments of Gurkhas belonging to the Bengal Infantry and the Punjab Frontier Force. The Surmur Battalion later the second Gurkhas, which won fame in the Siege of Delhi in 1857, had 33% Garhwalas on their rolls at that time. The Great War saw the Garhwalas in France, part of the Garhwal Brigade of the Meerut Division, plunging into action in Flanders, where both battalions fought with valor. The regiment had the distinction of winning two Victoria Crosses. N.K. Darwad Singh Negi at Festibert and Fifelman Gabar Singh Negi Posthumous at Neuve Chapelle. Nayak Darwad Singh also had the distinction of being the first Indian to be presented the Victoria Cross personally by the King Emperor who came down specially to the battlefront in France at Blokan on December 1, 1914. As due recognition of their fighting prowess in the Great War, Battle Honours La Bassie, Armentier, Festibert, Neuve Chapelle, Aubers, France and Flanders 1914-15, Egypt, Macedonia, Khan Baghdadi, Sharkat and Mesopotamia were conferred on the regiment. During disturbances in Peshawar in 1932 platoons of the Royal Garhwal Rifles refused to fire on Pastoons. A British civil servant wrote later that hardly any regiment of the Indian Army won greater glory in the Great War, World War I, than the Garhwal Rifles, and the defection of part of the regiment sent shock waves through India, of apprehension to some, of exaltation to others. Nayak Chandra Singh Garhwali with his team sent to Kalapani Cellular Jail. This was unforgettable chapter of Indian independence movement. Motile Nehru called this day as Garhwal Day. World War II saw active participation of the Garhwalas, the 1st and 4th battalions in Burma but most of Garhwali joined the Indian National Army led by Subhash Chandra Bose in Burma. 20% of the Indian National Army soldiers were Garhwali. After the formation of India in 1947 and the subsequent merger of the various states in India at the time, the Garhwal princely state was among the first to be merged in with the Indian Union. Subsequently, the regiment was transferred to the newly independent Indian Army. The 3rd Battalion participated with distinction in the J&K operations, winning battle honor Tithwal and gaining the distinction of becoming one of the most decorated battalions of the Indian Army in any one operation after independence, it won 1 MVC, 18 VRCs, 01 SC. Only battalion in Indian Army who got battle owner in 1962. The 1962 Sino-Indian conflict saw the 4th Battalion in the midst of heavy fighting in Dewang, Jiang, and Naranan, where it gave an excellent account of itself, suffering very heavy casualties. The battalion stand at Naranan has been singled out in most accounts of the war as a fine example of infantry battle. For its brave stand against overwhelming odds, 4 Garif was awarded the battle honor Naranan the only battalion to be awarded a battle honor in Neva, a singular distinction in the context of that particular conflict. Maranan has since been renamed Jaswat Gaur, in honor of RF and Jaswat Singhrawat whose bravery at Naranan merited a posthumous Mahavar Chakra. In 1965, the 1st Battalion fought at Gadra Road, the 2nd Battalion at Uphill, the 6th Battalion at Filaura and the 8th Battalion at Buter da Grandi, where it lost two senior officers viz Lt. Khal Rad and Major Arkhan within two days. The command then fell on to youngest captain, Lt. Khal, H. S. Ratla who lead by front and got gallantry commendation by then Chief of Army Staff. Captain C. N. Singh of the regiment was posthumously awarded the MVC for gallantry whilst serving in HQ 120 Infantry Brigade. 
1st Battalion and 8th Battalion were honored with battle honors Gadra Road and Butcher Daw Grandy respectively. The 6th Battalion was awarded the battle honor Phila Ura. The 5th Battalion blazed a glorious trail during operations for the liberation of Bangladesh. For its actions in the war, the battalion was awarded Battle Honor Hille and Theater Honor East Pakistan 1971. The battalion won three Ver Chakras. The 12th Battalion had been in action since October 1971 and on commencement of active hostilities, took Hadi Banda and participated in operations east of Dinajpur. The 3rd Battalion was in the Shakargar sector. It took its initial objective Standard and Mukwal, south of Suchitgaur, and then into enemy territory to Bear Kalan. By the time of the ceasefire, the battalion had penetrated up to Ramre, north of Chakra. The 4th Battalion was in the Jenner sector and conducted raids on enemy outposts while holding its own ground. The 6th Battalion was in the Sialkot sector. After retaking Nawan Pind, the battalion carried the defensive battle into enemy territory, mounting three strong raids on enemy posts opposite its area. The 7th Battalion was in the Kham sector, fighting a series of actions culminating in the recapture of Sangram post by the time the ceasefire was declared. The 8th Battalion under the command of Major H. S. Rotla SM now Lt. Col. was also in a holding role in Punjab and captured enemy post Gurki. In his honor the Gurki village name was changed to Harishnagar and was awarded the Sena Medal. They kept holding this post despite shelling that continued till the ceasefire. The 10th Battalion fought a notable action led by Major Mahudar Negi while capturing Raipur crossing in the Aknar Jorian sector. The commanding officer Lt. Col. Ankar Singh personally led one of the attacks, being critically wounded and later succumbing to his injuries. The 17th Battalion was in the Baitlik subsector and was tasked with assaulting area Bump and Kulabathra in the Jubar Heights, a regaline overlooking Jubar Top, astride the National Highway. The climb was arduous and all companies were daylighted except for Captain Jin Tugogoy's platoon. The gallant bullies took Kolapathra in the face of heavy enemy fire, and then came face to face with an enemy UMG emplacement. To the enemy's total surprise, Captain Gogoi launched an immediate attack on the UMG Sanger, killing two intruders in hand-to-hand -hand combat, being mortally wounded in the process. Captain Gentu Gogoi was awarded the Vir Chakra posthumously for his bravery in utter disregard for his own safety. The battalion launched fresh attacks in the subsequent days and took Bump and Gulapathur. This paved the way for further successes, the battalion proceeded to take another dominating feature in the Munthodalo complex, finally taking 5,285 despite heavy snowfall and effective enemy fire including artillery fire due to the proximity of this feature to the lock. The battalion was awarded Battle Honor Baitlik for its exploits in Op Vijay. The 18th Battalion was tasked to take point 4700 and the surrounding heights where the enemy had consolidated their positions after being evicted from Tololing and point 5140. In the subsequent operations, the bullies displayed gallantry of the highest order. Captain Sumit Roy led a daredevil attack, climbing a sheer escarpment and taking the enemy Sanger by surprise. His breakthrough paved the way for capture of PT-4700. This brave officer was later mortally wounded by enemy fire on the objective and succumbed to his injuries. Captain Sumit Roy was awarded the Vir Chakra posthumously. The adjoining features were assaulted by other companies of the 18th. Major Ray Jesh Saw and Captain MV Suraj led from the front, evicting the enemy from many a stronghold. Both these gallant officers were awarded the Verchakra for courageous leadership and bravery. The bullies of the 18th Battalion displayed indomitable courage, N.K. Kashmir Singh, R.F.N. Anu Suya Prasad and R.F.N. Kaldeep Singh all won the Verchakra posthumously. The battalion received an immediate award of the Coase Unit Citation, in all winning six Verchakras, a bar to the Sena Medal, seven Sena Medals and the Battle Honor Driz. Both battalions were awarded Theater Honor Kargel. These honors came at a high price, the regiment lost 49 personnel of all ranks killed in action, 